Hi there and welcome back to another video from us here at Lottie Jasmine Design and today we're going to be using these beautiful honeybee and honeycomb moulds. Uh, they can be used for resin projects, clay craft projects or any kind of if you make fondant decorations for cakes you can use those as well. Obviously if you're going to have do that have two sets, one for food creation and one for crafting. We're also going to be using these lovely beautiful uh, mica powders. Uh, everything where we've got things from will be listed in the description box below. We're going to build up layers of colour in these moulds. So as you can see this is time-lapse video just showing myself using a regular paintbrush just go in with the different colours uh, that we're using. We've got the yellow, beautiful, vibrant yellow and orange. Um, just doing the bees there as well with iridescent white or you could use a pearl white if you have that and then black for their bodies. So as you can see here we're just trying to create light and shade as you would do if you were painting or drawing um, it on a piece of paper. A little bit brown there in as well just to do a bit of shading as you can see. Close up there of the uh, finished shaded mould there and then there's the other one. They're both slightly different. They're exactly the same mould, just slightly different. It's all the way that depends on how the mica powder comes out into the mould. So I'm uh, pretty pleased with those. In this little um, silicone mixing jug, we've got a mix of the yellow uh, Vista pigment, the polar white Vista pigment. There we are, just showing them here then. And also the yellow pigment mica powder. So just mixing it all up together to make our only our very own customised pigment to use. Now this here now is a very rich yellow powder. It's not buttercup yellow. I personally think at this point um, it's a little bit too bright. There we are. This is the orange one. This has been uh, made using a bit of the orange uh, mica powder that we've used to shade the mould and also some of the polar white Vista pigment just mixed in together. So just adding a little bit of the orange uh, custom mix into the yellow, seeing if I can get it to be a more of a yellowy orange rather than a yellow yellow, if you know what I mean. Apologies if that's a bit confusing. So there we go, just trying, trying to get it to be a bit more of a deeper yellow than a bright, bright yellow. So just a bit concerned about how um, vibrant these would be. So then what happens is I'm going to, going to use this as a pigment to add to some clear resin, which I poured into the moulds. I'm Apologies, I haven't got uh, footage of that being done or for me pouring it into the moulds. But as you can see, I did pour it into the moulds, left it to cure for 24 hours. And this is 24 hours later. I'm quite pleased with it, although the moulds are dull moulds. They're not shiny. So, of course, they've cured and they're a matte rather than a shiny finish. So what I'm going to use here now is um, I've got some UV resin uh, that I'm going to put into one of those little mini mixing jugs and I'm going to use it a bit like you would if you were varnishing a piece of, of wood or a bit, you know, one of your other projects perhaps that you were going to use. Um, so I'm going to, just going to try and give it not a brilliant shine, but just try and lift the colours a little bit, give it a bit more of a finish. There we are, a bit of a time lapse there of uh, me applying it using this silicon tipped tool that I like. My favourite tool at the moment this is. It's got a pointy end on one and it's got more of a brush type on the other. So then there was just a quick flash there that you saw of uh, me curing the resin. So as you can see it's just picked it up a little bit and for those eagle eyed of you I've also used a little bit of glitter. So just before I cured the resin with the UV light I sprinkled off my fingers, just flicked in a little bit of glitter just to pick it up. So I'm quite pleased with those, although I do think it needs just a little something else. So there you go. There's the two side by side. The one on the right has had the um, UV resin with a little bit of glitter and the one on the left is a matte finish. So of course it's totally up to you. So here we go. This is the final treatment for these. Um, I'm using a deco metallic gold pen to just go on the edge of this of this uh, piece, this beautiful little plaque, 
and there we go and I've gone tiny bit round the top edge as well just to see uh, with that so then I let it dry for 24 hours I'm very pleased with that and then there we go that is that piece finished I then went back in and did exactly the same with the other so I hope you've enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe uh, videos coming out Wednesdays and Sundays take care bye bye